it seems as if like you, you you've seen the articles brian scarlett johansson oh i'm done with the MCU, Chris Evans, I don't want to ruin what I've already done. Is people are turning their backs on the MCU, Brian. Well, it's like, it's like on the one hand, you have all these other celebrities who want in because they want the money. Mm -hmm. But it's the people who actually like were there before who made it what it is. They are the ones who like, the ones who Kevin needs for Secret Wars are the ones who are like... <laughs> You got a cold right now. Like you gotta, you gotta prove it to me before I, I, I come back. So, Brian, I honestly don't think Secret Wars happens. Well, I, like, as I said, I still don't think it happens on the timeline anywhere close to the timeline they've got it on because it's just not ready. It's just not ready. Yeah. Because a a, a a less than a billion dollar Avengers film speaks volumes. Oh, it's no, like I said, it's no different than Justice League. I mean, Justice League at 600 million caused the entire DC world to fall apart. Mm. It would be the same. Like, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. I mean, Rise of Skywalker barely made a billion dollars. That caused Star Wars to fall apart in, at the movies. Like, it will be the same. Well, so what happens after that? What do you think happens after that? Well, like I said, I mean, I still, I still am waiting to see if, you know, Kevin makes the leap even before then, you know, out of, out of the MCU. But I think definitely, like, you, you would have a real change in leadership. I think if they were going to do projects, they would just they would focus on the mutants. They would don't. They probably just shelve the Avengers entirely for. But know, but um, it's it's like going back. It's like going back to the era of just when Fox owned X Men, right? That's what it feels like. We don't get to see Wolverine, Spider Man, possibly. We don't get to see Hulk versus Wolverine. We don't get to see those things. Yeah. Um. And that's disappointing because that was one of the things that we were hoping to see sometime. Well, I think too, like the flash now to me has become, it's funny, like we're going through all the calendar and like, to me now the flash has become the really interesting movie to watch from a box office standpoint, just because like the ongoing issue is we haven't like, we haven't had a great movie that was accessible to everyone. Like I would even say like the Batman, which was successful and very good movie the tone of that clearly was like kids of a certain age don't come mm -hmm. right? the flash is clearly not that the class is, the flash is definitely like designed to be like appealing to all audiences mm -hmm. but we haven't had a great one of those since no way home yeah and so i just want to see like with all the bad kind of the weaker films we've had in between if that movie really is as good as people say and the box office still disappoints then i would probably tell you that like we should we should probably revisit the James Gunn comments that it's not about superheroes, and I would say like, maybe it is really about superheroes. So people just don't want to see superhero stories. Period. Right now, they just want to see dudes in costumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show goes on. Yeah!